Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the OnePlus 6. Now shout out to OnePlus for hitting me off with this one early, so let's get right into it. Now as far as pricing and availability, I'll get back to y'all with that information as soon as I get it. First things first, let's run through the specs. Now this is a global phone and it's carrier unlocked. So what does that mean? Well, if you got AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, or Verizon, doesn't matter, you're good to go. Now the phone is available in three colors. You got Midnight Black, Mirror Black, and Silk White. Now for the display, you get a 6.2 inch full optic AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2280. Now that's 402 for the PPI Patrol. Now the phone is in 19 by nine aspect ratio and features Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Now it is water resistant to rain and small spills, but there's no IP rating, so this is not the deep sea diving phone. Now for the processor, you get a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 with the Adreno 630 GPU. Top of the line specs. Now the phone is running Android 8.1 Optimus Prime, fresh out of the box with the Oxygen OS skin on top. Now the phone comes in a couple of different versions. You got six gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of storage, or you got eight gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage, or 256 gigs worth of storage. Now the phone features dual SIM slots. Now for the battery, it's a non-removable 3,300 milliamp battery that features dash charge at five volts, four amps. Now OnePlus claims you're gonna get one day's worth of power off of a 30 minute charge. Now I've been using OnePlus phones for a while, I can co-sign that, dash charge is the fastest in the game. Now for the camera, on the rear, you got a dual setup. So one is a 16 megapixel lens, that's f1.7. The other one is a 20 megapixel lens, that's also f1.7. Now you can shoot 4K video at 30 to 60 frames per second and super slow motion video at 1080p, 240 frames per second. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel camera, that's f2.0. Now it features one bottom firing speaker that features direct HD sound and direct power sound. Now of course you get face unlock, which is the fastest in the game. You get Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, your fingerprint sensor, and most importantly, your headphone jack. All right, so let's get right into it. Now not your usual white box, little brown box right here. Let's see what this is. Rah. Open this up. Shout out to White Shoes, she got the day off. Okay, now what is this? Okay, we got a little package right here. Let's open this up. Left a little unboxing knife home, so we're gonna have to bust this open old school style. Now this is way smaller than the phone. Let's see what this is. Okay. The speed you need, one plus six launch. Now hold up, let's check the date. Now it's Friday, May 11th. Now the actual launch date is May 16th. Let's open this up. Let's see what this is. Now we'll be in London for the launch. Shout out to anybody that's coming. The speed you need, one plus six launch. May 16th in London. All right, let's pop this out and see what it is. All right, now it kind of looks like a phone. Got some writing on the back. I'll copy and paste this into the description if y'all want to read this. Now I know what you're saying. What kind of unboxing you doing without the actual phone? Well, lucky for me, shout out to my boy Thanos, all right? He let me hold the Infinity Gauntlet, so I got the Time Stone, so I'm about to go to the future, go to the OnePlus event, grab a phone, and come back and unbox it. All right, so let's check and see if the Time Stone works. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, obviously, I'm just trolling. I got the phone early, so by the time you see this video, it'll be May 16th, and we'll be up to date. All right, so here we go. Let's pop this open and see what it is. Rah. Okay, never settle. Shout out to White Shoes back in the building. She knows quality when she sees it. Now, of course, we're gonna go through all of the different cases. We'll check that out in a minute. And here's your device. Classic OnePlus presentation, nice white box. Who doesn't like a nice white box? I do, giggity. Let's see now, which version is this? Mirror black, 128 gigs worth of storage. Let's grab a little unboxing knife and check this out. Got the Tiger Tooth on deck. Watch out, Zerks. Rah. Here we go. Okay. The speed you need. Right, look at the white shoes, look at the white shoes. Here we go. Let's slide this open. Classic presentation, red and white. I love it. 
Now here's your one plus six. Let's peel this plastic off. Rah. Woo! Now check this out. This is the first OnePlus device that has glass on the front and glass on the back. All right, let me get rid of this little sticker right here and get a little wipe down for dramatic effect. Look at this. Mirror black. Beautiful. Watch out, Zerks. Let's see what else you get in the box. Okay, now classic OnePlus presentation. Let's see. Okay, six. Everything is about the six. Usual books and shit. Pluck them and follow them to the side. Some more. Pluck them and follow them. Of course, you got your classic OnePlus troll stickers. All right, anybody that spent a thousand bucks on the Galaxy S9 Plus, you know what to do. Here's your SIM ejection tool. We're going to need that. And you get a gel skin case. All right, I'll peel that off in a second. Typical case, nothing too fancy. All right, so that's it for that. You get your dash charger. Five volts, four amps. This is a big dog. And one of my favorite things about OnePlus phones, the red and white USB Type-C charging cable with your clip management system. Now, back to the device. Look at this. Let that sink in for a second. Let's see on one side. Here's your alert slider. Okay. This looks like power button. Let's hit that. See if we got any juice. Okay. One plus Android. On the other side, you got volume up and down. There's your SIM tray with your dual SIM slots. On the bottom, headphone jack. Okay, USB Type-C, speaker grill. On the top, you got a mic. And on the front, you got a little bit of a notch. But it is what it is. Now look, here. now you can see it better. Now I don't know about you, but I don't really care about the notches anymore. I know a lot of people hate the notch, but I'd rather have the notch and full screen on the top on both sides than just having a big black bar on the top. All right, trust me, you'll get used to the notch. All right, so let me pause the video. I'll drop my information in and we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes and I got to keep it real with y'all. On a scale of one to 10, this phone is a major, major, major go. If you ever had a OnePlus phone and you liked it, then you're gonna love this phone. Now, everything that you liked about the OnePlus 5 and the 5T, you got on this phone plus more. All right, so let's start off with the basics. Build quality, Gorilla Glass 5 on the back and on the front, looks amazing. And y'all know I gotta say it, feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Now that's the first thing that's gonna catch your attention as soon as you take this out the box, the look and the feel. Now compare this to the OnePlus 5 and the 5T, this is night and day. Now I said this before and I'll say it again, I'm a big fan of glass back phones. It just gives it more of a premium look and feel and you're gonna love this one. Now let's check out the fingerprint sensor. Works super fast 100% of the time. Now this right here is about to blow you away. OnePlus makes the fastest facial unlock in the game and I'm gonna show you what I mean. Now you do have your ambient notifications. So you see when I pick the phone up, that's not an always on display, but it is ambient notifications. You get the time, the date, and your notifications. Now watch this facial unlock. I'm gonna press the power button without looking at it. You see I got my lock screen right there, all my apps that I'm downloading, and all my notifications. Now I'm gonna look at the phone and press the power button. Did you see that? Let's do that again. Just in case y'all wasn't paying attention, check this out. Now you didn't even see the lock screen. I'm not looking at it. Now I'm gonna look at it again. That is out of this world. That's the fastest facial unlock that I've seen yet. I mean, so fast, if you're looking directly at it, you won't even see that lock screen. That is incredible. All right, let's go to the settings real quick. Now, of course, you got your pattern lock. You can use that too. All right, so you got your toggles at the top, basic. Let's take it over to settings. We'll start from the top. All right, let's go to uh, more. You got NFC, so you got your Android Beam and your tap and pay. Let's go to uh, <laughs> let's go to alert slider. Now, you can switch the alert slider. Now, that's one thing. I thought the alert slider used to be on the left. I could be wrong, but alert slider on the right now. It is what it is. You can switch from silent to vibration or ring. Let's hit the buttons. Now you can swap these buttons on the bottom. Now I like to have my back button on the left, but if you don't like that, 
swap buttons. Now you got back button on the right. You got your navigation buttons, all right? So you can have a fixed navigation bar. You can hide the navigation bar, or you can uh, use navigation uh, gestures. And we'll play with that when I do the full review. Now you got your home button. You can set up different uh, functions for that. So long press to take you to your Google Assistant. Double tap. Right now I got it at no action. Let's see, double tap. We'll activate uh, voice search. Leave that on. And the same thing with your recent buttons and your back buttons. You can set those up to different functions. Let's go to our uh, status bar. All right, now you can have your battery as a circle, hidden, or the bar. I'll just leave it at the bar. You can display your network speed and you got your icon manager. Now I'm downloading. I don't have all my apps downloaded yet, so we'll leave that alone. Now you got different fonts. Actually, right, so you got your Roboto, <laughs> Roboto, and <laughs> your standard OnePlus. Leave it as OnePlus. For your default home, now this comes with Nova Launcher built in. So no need to look, download a uh, secondary launcher. You got Nova Launcher or you got OnePlus, we'll leave it stock. Let's go to display. Now you got adaptive brightness. We'll leave that off because I like to rock maximum brightness like a douchebag. Sleep time, I'll leave that on 10 minutes. I like to see everything. You got night mode, reading mode, screen calibration. Now check this out, notch display. For all y'all cats that hate the notch, you can turn the notch on and off. Now, me personally, I'm gonna leave the notch on and I'll show you why. Because when you're doing certain apps, you get a little colors on the top and it just makes it look like more of a full screen. So I'll leave that on. Let's see, uh, apps and uh, notifications. We'll leave that alone. Ambient display, I lift up to get the display. I got that on so you can have a different clock style. So I got the basic, let me see, um, this one looks nice. So you got that one. This one, oh, this is nice too, nice red and white theme. This one is dope too. And your analog clock. Let's leave it on. Um, we'll leave it on this one. That looks nice. Let's keep it moving. All right, um, <laughs> you can view your notifications. I'll leave that on. And you got your message. So I'll just put my name. Now let's go to theme. Now, as soon as you get your OnePlus, I don't care which one it is, if you want to save battery, the first thing you got to do is go to theme and put it on dark. Now watch the difference. Not to mention, it just looks way more badass. Look at that. And when you got an uh, AMOLED panel, you can't see where the, the, the screen, the bezels start and stop. It just looks dope. All right, so we got your accents color. Uh, we'll leave that on blue. Why not? We'll play with that later. Font size, display size, screensaver, pulse notification light. So you do got an LED light, notification light, and you can change the colors to have them coincide with different apps. And you got your screencast. Let's see, sounds and vibrations, standard, standard. Now when you plug in your headphones, you got your audio tuner and your earphone mode. All right, now I don't have any headphones to plug in right now, but we'll do that later. All your different ringtones, all your different sound settings. Let's keep it moving, our notifications, standard, battery. All right, let's see now. With this amount of battery, it's saying that I got 44%. That's gonna give me two hours and 18 minutes. Now, don't ever worry about battery when you're rocking a OnePlus phone if you got your dash charger on deck. 30 minutes is going to give you a full day's worth of charge. Now, for me, I'm a heavy user, heavy user. So 30 minutes will give me a couple of extra hours, maybe four or five hours. You can't beat that, though. And you got an optimized list right here. You can click on those and optimize individual apps. Storage and memory. Now, this is 128 gig version with the OS and everything. Let's see how many apps I got left to download. Oh, only eight out of 147. We'll still have plenty of gigage left. All right, gigage. Maximum gigage. Got your different users, apps. Let's see, y'all. Uh, let's go to gestures. Matter of fact, did we pass that already? Let's see, let's see. Matter of fact, let's take it over to advanced. All right, so let's see. OTG storage, OnePlus notifications. Now, you do have gaming mode. So if you activate gaming mode, what that means is, say you're playing Fortnite or you're playing one of your games, you're not going to keep getting interrupted by notifications popping on your screen. Simple. And that's pretty much it. Let's see. Um, let's take it over to the camera real quick and we'll check the camera settings. All right, my bad. Before I do that, I know I had a little brain freeze. Here goes gestures. All right, so let's check out some of the gestures that you got. You can long press to take a photo. All right, that's the fingerprint on the back. So say you want to do a selfie, use the fingerprint sensor to take your selfie. You got flip to mute. All right, so you're getting a phone call, flip the phone, it'll mute it. You got your three finger screenshot, just like that. Let's exit out of that. Double tap to awake the phone. 
and you got your draw different gestures for different functions. So while the screen is off, I'll draw a circle. That'll activate my flashlight. Draw the circle again. Deactivate the flashlight. Look at that face unlock. It's insane. Insane. All right, that's pretty much it. Now let's take it over to the camera real quick. This is real basic. Now I did a point and shoot. Look at this. Point and shoot status. This might be the best OnePlus camera I've seen yet. So you got video and you got portrait. Swipe up. You got video, photo, portrait mode, slow motion, pro mode, time lapse, and panorama. Let's check out the pro mode. All your ESO, your, uh, your ISO, white balance, shutter speed. Do what you do. So far, no lag. Now, we don't even have to talk about lag. You've never seen lag on a OnePlus phone, and you're not going to see it on this one. Fresh out of the box. All right, fresh out of the box. When y'all watching this video, I'll still be in London. I'm taking this phone with me, though. This is a go right here. All right, this is a try, a try go. Now, real quick, let's check out the cases. All right, so here's the stock case that comes with it. We'll slap this one on. Get a little wipe down. Stock case, just a gel skin case. Got a little bit of razivity. Slam Boy certified. Now, I love how the notifications come in like this. The ambient style, that's pretty dope. All right, so we'll pluck this one off. If you don't buy any cases and rock this, you got a glass back phone, you're gonna need a case. All right, so let's go through the standard OnePlus cases. First up, got the wooden one. Now, y'all seen all these cases before, but you're gonna see them again. <laughs> Why not? Let's uh, beast this open real quick. Rah! Here we go. Okay, so we got the wooden style. Now, this slaps right on. A little bit of razivity on this. Adds a little bit of extra weight. You can still see that glass reflecting through the back of the case, shimmery. Fingerprint sensor, everything works. There's your power button, no problems. Now this is better than the old school ones that OnePlus used to make that just snap on. Now you're getting a little bit of extra protection. All right, let's keep it moving. That's the wooden. Next, let's take a look at the, uh, the classic, the sandstone. Now y'all definitely love this one. Let's see if I could get this open quick. Rah. Sandstone case. Now this has a sandpaper feel to it. This is classic. This is iconic OnePlus status. When you think of OnePlus and you think of the cases, this is the first one that comes to your mind. Sandstone. No wipe down necessary. Now this one slaps right on. No razivity on this one. All right, everything is open. There's your buttons. But it just gives you a little bit more extra grip and it has that sandy feel to it. All right, I'm definitely feeling this one. No fingerprint status with this case. Next. All right, now this is something new. I've never seen this one right here. This kind of looks like a hyper knit. Let's open this up. Let's see what this, ooh, okay. Now, I had to do the smell test. Kind of looks like Alcantara. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right, feltish material. Looks like Alcantara with a hyper knit feel on the back. Now, if you don't know what hyping it is, it's kind of like the material that's on the front of uh, sneakers. If you get a fresh set of Air Maxes, this is what the front feels like. That's called hyping it. Now, I don't know if that's the correct name for this specific case, but that's what I'm calling it. One plus insignia on the back. Slap this one on. Now, this is full protection. All right. Nice amount of razivity. Nice feel on this one. Definitely no fingerprints. This should last forever. Has a fabric feel to it. This is nice. Let's keep it moving. Now, we got my two favorite cases right here. I save them for last. We got the Cherry Red. All right, let's open this one up real quick. Now, this one, just like the OnePlus 5T version, you got that feltish Alcantara feel on the inside. I got to do the smell test. Ah, quality. All right, quality. Now, look at this. This has a soft feel to it. No fingerprints. We'll slap this one on. Now y'all remember when I had the red one plus, this was my go-to case. And this is nice. I'm a fan of red cases. This is a bright red though. This is that real red, right? That's that real red right here. Let's see, you got some razivity on the front. Bottom is wide open. This one has a nice feel to it. Like a silicone -ish kind of feel, but a little bit more quality. OnePlus Insignia embedded into the back of the case. Real nice. All right, so we got one more. Now y'all already know which one is last. The carbon fiber. 
For anybody that knows me or watches my channel, y'all know how I feel about carbon fiber. This is gonna be my heavy hitter case right here. I'm trying to I'm trying not to break this one, taking it out. Check this out. Carbon fiber, inside and out. All right, so we'll slap this one on. Now this is gonna be the daily right here. What does this case look like? Race car. Right, as soon as you see this case, the first thing that pops in your mind, race car. You got the race car foam, fastest face, un that face unlocked. I, it's it's kind of blowing me away because I keep thinking that I don't have a lock on the phone, but I know as soon as I just look at it a little bit. Now this is what I'm gonna do. Look, you see I got it like this. I'm just gonna tilt it up a little until it reaches my eyes. You see that? It's unbelievable, unbelievable. All right, so here's the carbon fiber case. No razivity on this one. This is a clip style case, bottom wide open, top wide open, but it's carbon fiber. One plus insignia. So anyway, this is a quick unboxing. I know, quick. This is a quick unboxing of the one plus six. Y'all already know how I do. Let me get a little wipe down on this one. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if there's anything y'all want me to cover when I do the full review, but y'all know how I do. I'm gonna tear it apart. We're gonna test the camera, the battery. We're gonna try to get it to lag, which I already know it won't, but we'll open up a thousand apps and we'll see what it is. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I'll see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas! Ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize.